Um, so we'll do another one of these determining reaction order from Ray Law problems. So if you look here, we've got a balanced reaction equation, okay, a redox equation, in fact this one is. Um, and we've got our rate law here. So recall, right, you cannot get the rate law from the balanced the equation, okay? The last one we did, it just so happened that the coefficients and the order of each of the reactants happened to be the same, okay? So notice in this one, how many reactants do we have? So how many different types of reactants? One, two, three. Three, right? So there's three different types of reactants here, okay? How many are shown in the rate law? It's just two, okay? So that should prove to you already that the coefficient has nothing to do with what the rate law has to do with, okay? So let's go ahead and decide what order each of these reactants is in and the total reaction order, okay? So um, remember, we get that information from looking at the rate law solely, okay? So if I said hydrogen peroxide, What's the order of this reactant in this reaction? First, First order, very good. And then um, iodide? First order. What about um, protons? H pluses. What are they? It's zero order is what we call it. Okay, zero order. And the overall reaction is going to be what? Second order. Second order. How do I get that? I add one plus one. Okay, everybody okay with that? Any questions on that? Okay, so overall. Pretty straightforward stuff, right? 